So in this video, I will go through how to get the exotic knee pads the fastest way. How do they work and what I think about them. So how do you get them? The good and the bad part is that they can drop anywhere. It's a random drop. However, I heard most of the people from my clan got them from the main mission Grand Washington Hotel on challenge and heroic difficulty. I don't think the difficulty matters though, but it should give you a higher drop chance. I heard a lot of people had success with the Jefferson Trade Center main mission as well, but my suggestion would be to farm the mission or the zone that have the knee pads as a target loot. Because the knee pads, as I said earlier, it's a random drop. And the target loot can also drop exotic, which yeah, makes it the best farm. Mine dropped on Grand Washington Hotel Invaded Heroic. They actually did drop for my clan member Matix, but he was nice enough to give them to me. So thank you for that Matix. It wouldn't been a video today without that, so. But I think that covers how to get them. I would just personally target from the knee pads with the loot targeting if I really wanted them. If you feel like you can wait a bit, I would just farm whatever else you want to farm. And I mean, over time, you should get them. So what makes these exotic knee pads different from all the other knee pads? And yeah, how do they work? So if we look at the knee pads, we can see that it doesn't have an attribute like a normal knee pad. But it has three unique talents and also three mod slots. Two being defensive and one being utility. If we move on to the talents, the first talent is called Short Circuit. And it gives you 80% jammer pulse charge speed. So with that, the jammer pulse is actually extremely fast and it's nice to use. I think we all know how slow the jammer pulse is usually. The second talent is called first wave tech. Disruption effect now destroy hostile skill proxies. So if you disrupt skill proxies with like an EMP, they get destroyed no matter what. Then after staying in cover for 4 seconds, you gain the lead by example buff which is the third talent. And with that talent, you gain 50% bonus armor when you perform a cover to cover move. So when you start the cover move and like until you reach there, that's when you like have the 50 bonus armor. If the distance traveled is at least eight meters, then it disrupts all enemies within 10 meters and you gain 10% bonus armor for each blue stat you have for four seconds. So if you have free blue, then you get 30% bonus armor. They disrupt of course one second after completing a cover to cover move. So it's a bit similar to Division 1's Nimble. However, you have to wait 4 seconds before doing a cover to cover move to actually get the 50% bonus armor. You will see a blue circle that indicates the EMP radius. So when you see that, you will get the cover to cover move bonus armor as well. And obviously, yeah, it will do the EMP effect when you hit the cover. Also, when you hit the cover, you will get 10% bonus armor times the amount of blues you have, as I said. I actually really did enjoy this uh, exotic knee pad and I think they're actually pretty good. Like it's a fun function and when you're playing against Black Tusk, you can just EMP all the robot dogs and such. And even using this for just only the armor buffs could be pretty good as long as you're not playing a Berserk build. So like having one of these for maybe the upcoming raid, it will definitely be useful. I can even see this being quite powerful in the right scenarios in PvP, especially since a lot of the builds are pretty armor heavy with a lot of blues. Like having 10 blues would give you 40% bonus armor in PvP, compared to 100% in PvE when you hit the cover. But still, like 40% bonus armor is still quite a lot. And it's an easy counter to a lot of the skills with the cover to cover effect. And I mean, if you have the jammer pulse equipped, like that 80% jammer speed, it, it's really, really nice. But I think that's gonna end the video though. I'm, I'm really happy with the, this exotic. I, I think uh, the developers did a good job on this one. Let me know what you guys think and let me know where you got this drop. And yeah, I do have some more videos planned with title update uh, 6. Some build videos, some tips and tricks videos. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And see you guys in the next video. I wanna fuck that one up. Ah ha ha, got you. Easy. Like doing an armor build with a lot of blues in this though. Gotta be really good. You spec a shit ton of armor. I wonder how OP this could be in PvP. Depending on what the meta is, right? 
I know that it's balanced a bit different. Like if we check here, we can check PvP talents, right? So in PvP, it gives you 4% bonus armor instead of 10. Let's say you do like a 10. You, you would still get 40% bonus armor, dude, if you would go like a... Just max the shit out of blues, right? You would still get like 40% bonus armor. And you're still getting 50% bonus armor when you do the cover to cover. When you hit the cover, you get 4%. Yeah, yeah, like that's what I always said. I always said like PC and console should have different balancing. Like console should have re less Reaper. For sure, dude. Than PC. That's how they should balance it. This gotta be insanely good for console though. I mean this basically feels kinda like a lightweight M4. I don't like that this is like what this gun right here, the name one, this is probably one of the the best guns dude. And it's so easy to play. I'm actually gonna die to that. Nah, I should do the EMP testing later. Now the, the thing, how I like them to balance games, you can have fast time to kill in that. And the way to like balance it is to have like pretty high recoil. Or you can have like tanky as fuck and like barely any recoil. Clearing up black tusk as you find them. Their property. Now I understand a lot of people don't like uh, recoil though. Like I, I love it. Like I think it's it's fun. Okay, I'm gonna try to EMP all the dogs. Now nah, this is definitely definitely a nice uh, exciting EP though. I'm liking it. Obviously you give up a lot though, but like having one guy playing this against like robot dogs and all that, it's gonna be big. Especially if you like playing raid, like having one guy just going something like this. Like sure, like you're giving up, you're giving up like some stats on the knee pad though. But you can use like EMP all day like this. Pretty nice exotic. I think this was a good job. Good job. It's pretty cool. And the fact you get like bonus armor on the way and bonus armor after, because it, like going in like this, like going in like this is pretty suicide. But you get the bonus armor, and then depending on how many blues you have, you get the arm bonus armor back as well when you hit the cover. So like pretty sim simple to simple, similar to Nimble, just that it's like a bit better in some cases. Like it's bonus armor, so it's not HP like it was in Division One, right? But go 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 go! No 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 no! Doggy doggo! Got him! <laughs> 